Yellowstone National Park, a land of vast wilderness. Towering geysers erupt with scalding water. Majestic bison roam across grassy plains. Crystal clear rivers cut through rugged canyons. This is a place where nature's raw power and exquisite beauty collide. Established in 1872, Yellowstone is America's first national park. It is a testament to the awe-inspiring forces that have shaped our planet for millennia. Yellowstone is a land of contrasts. Lush forests give way to steaming geothermal areas. Snow-capped peaks overlook meadows bursting with wildflowers. Millions of visitors flock to Yellowstone each year. They come to witness its iconic landmarks and experience its untamed spirit. But beneath this breathtaking scenery lies a hidden force. A colossal supervolcano slumbers beneath the park's surface. This sleeping giant is a reminder of the immense power that lies dormant within our planet. Yellowstone's story is one of fire and ice, of creation and destruction. It is a story that continues to unfold, captivating scientists and visitors alike. Join me as we delve into the heart of Yellowstone, exploring its wonders and unraveling the mysteries of the forces that shape its destiny. Deep below Yellowstone's iconic landmarks lies a sleeping giant, a supervolcano capable of eruptions of unimaginable scale. This massive magma chamber fueled by the Earth's internal heat is a source of both wonder and concern. Supervolcanoes are different from traditional volcanoes. They don't have a single cone-shaped mountain. Instead, they form massive calderas, vast depressions created by catastrophic eruptions. The Yellowstone caldera, spanning over 3,400 square miles, is a scar left behind by one such eruption. The heat from the magma chamber drives Yellowstone's geothermal activity. It powers the geysers, hot springs, and mud pots that make the park so unique. This subterranean heat engine is a constant reminder of the immense forces at play. Scientists estimate that the Yellowstone supervolcano has experienced three major eruptions in its history. These eruptions, occurring millions of years ago, reshaped the landscape and left behind vast deposits of volcanic ash. Yellowstone's history is a dramatic tale written in layers of volcanic rock. The park sits atop a hotspot, a plume of molten rock rising from deep within the earth. This hotspot has fueled three colossal eruptions, each leaving its mark on the landscape. The first super eruption, 2.1 million years ago, created the Huckleberry Ridge Caldera, one of the largest volcanic features on Earth. The second, 1.3 million years ago, formed the Island Park Caldera and blanketed much of North America in ash. The most recent super eruption, 630,000 years ago, created the Yellowstone Caldera, the park's defining feature. These eruptions were not isolated events. Yellowstone has experienced numerous smaller eruptions in between, shaping the present-day landscape. Lava flows, some as recent as 170,000 years old, created vast basalt plateaus. These events, though smaller in scale, demonstrate the ongoing activity of the Yellowstone hotspot. The park's history is a testament to the cyclical nature of volcanic activity. While the supervolcano slumbers, its presence is a constant reminder of the powerful forces that have shaped Yellowstone over millions of years. Geothermal Marvels, Hot Springs, Geysers, and Mud Pots Yellowstone's geothermal features are a testament to the immense heat simmering beneath the surface. Geysers, like the iconic Old Faithful, erupt in spectacular displays of boiling water and steam. Hot springs shimmering with vibrant colors harbor unique ecosystems. Mud pots bubbling with volcanic gases paint the landscape in otherworldly hues. These features are all driven by the interaction of groundwater and heat from the magma chamber. As water seeps deep underground, it is superheated by the surrounding rocks. This hot water rises back to the surface creating a variety of geothermal phenomena. Geysers erupt when superheated water trapped underground reaches a critical pressure and explodes to the surface. Hot springs on the other hand are pools of constantly flowing hot water their colors determined by the minerals dissolved within. Mud pots form when hot acidic water mixes with volcanic ash and clay, creating a bubbling gray slurry. While these features are a source of wonder they also pose risks. The ground around geothermal areas is often unstable, prone to collapse. The water in hot springs and geysers is extremely hot, capable of causing severe burns. Visitors must exercise caution and stay on designated paths. Yellowstone's Restless Nature, Earthquakes and Upheaval Yellowstone is a dynamic landscape constantly reshaped by the forces beneath our feet. The park experiences thousands of small earthquakes each year, a testament to its active geology. While most are too small to be felt, they provide valuable data for scientists monitoring the supervolcano. Larger earthquakes, though less frequent, can cause significant changes. 
In 1959 a magnitude 7.3 earthquake near Hebgen Lake, just outside the park's boundary, triggered a massive landslide. The landslide dammed the Madison River, creating Quake Lake, and altering the landscape dramatically. Ground deformation, the rising and falling of the Earth's surface, is another indicator of Yellowstone's restless nature. Scientists use sensitive instruments to measure even the slightest changes in elevation. These movements can be caused by pressure changes within the magma chamber or the movement of hydrothermal fluids. The interplay of earthquakes, ground deformation, and geothermal activity provides a window into the complex processes occurring beneath Yellowstone. By studying these phenomena, scientists hope to better understand the behavior of the supervolcano and assess potential risks. The Watchful Eyes of Science Monitoring a Giant Scientists keep a watchful eye on Yellowstone using a suite of sophisticated instruments to monitor its every quiver and sigh. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, a collaboration of government agencies and research institutions, collects and analyzes data 24-7. Seismometers deployed across the park detect even the faintest tremors. GPS stations track ground deformation with millimeter precision. Gas sensors monitor the release of volcanic gases from geothermal features. These instruments provide a continuous stream of data, allowing scientists to track changes over time. The data collected by these instruments is analyzed for patterns and anomalies, sudden increases in earthquake activity, rapid ground deformation, or changes in gas emissions could signal unrest within the supervolcano. While the data indicates that Yellowstone is not on the verge of a catastrophic eruption, it is a potent reminder of the park's dynamic nature. Continuous monitoring is essential for understanding the long-term behavior of the supervolcano and providing early warning of potential hazards. Yellowstone's Legacy, a Tapestry of Change and Resilience Yellowstone stands as a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature and the delicate balance of life on Earth. Its geothermal wonders, shaped by the immense forces beneath the surface, captivate and inspire us. Its history, etched in fire and stone, reminds us of the planet's dynamic nature. The recent increase in seismic activity, while a cause for attention, is not necessarily a harbinger of imminent catastrophe. Yellowstone is a dynamic system constantly evolving, the earth breathes and the ground shifts reminding us of the powerful forces at play. The ongoing research and monitoring efforts are crucial for understanding Yellowstone's complex behavior and managing potential risks. By unraveling the mysteries of the supervolcano, we gain insights into the Earth's inner workings and the forces that have shaped our planet for billions of years. As we marvel at Yellowstone's beauty, let us also appreciate its scientific significance. It is a natural laboratory, offering a glimpse into the Earth's fiery heart and a reminder of our planet's ever-evolving nature. The legacy of Yellowstone lies not only in its breathtaking landscapes but also in the knowledge we gain from its continuous observation and study.